Um, Mufti, should we keep our ego checked? Macedonian King Alexander and Muhammad Ali called themselves the greatest and went on conquering the world in their own way, but both succumbed to illness early. No, that's right. Okay. I think if there is a fine balance between self belief and self delusion and arrogance. And I think the distinction is sometimes in saying simply we can see it manifest in these two sentences distinguished by only a word first being i can do this that is your belief in you in parallel to only i can do this <laughs> that's delusions of grandeur and a sense of arrogance i think self-belief in greatness is important because each and every one of us is great some perhaps more great than others but we all have greatness within us maybe we don't actualize its potential maybe there's many things that we've left we've not managed to potential like to actualize, to individuate how we truly could have. But I think we should embrace greatness. And But this, you see, the narrative of the Qur'an, keeping that in mind, that the greatness is there, and wanting that, there's nothing wrong with that. Look, وَجَعَلِّي لِسَانَ صِدْقٍ فِي الْآخِرِ Allah. You see, greatness wants great nothing wrong in wanting it because it is a noble greatness yusuf alayhi salam says you know and the person's thinking about the problems of the kingdom make me the treasurer i'm somebody incredibly knowledgeable <laughs> allahu akbar but how do they nest that they nest in this is the quranic this is the the, the 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 amazing quranic narrative that it tells you to embrace the greatness but nests it in this gratitude to god see my lord has given me this so i think and you're right it could be at times they could be a very thin rope that people are walking and they may fall into grandeur. In fact, Muhammad Ali, in an interview himself, he says that, um, he says, my illness is one of the best things that happened to me because he says it reminded me that God is the greatest and not me. And I, I think Muhammad Ali was an amazing, you know, may Allah bless him, a, you know, just a super human being of this, uh, of our of our times so but i mean th this is what he said that he felt that obviously we don't know what he felt within but he says that he felt that he had become deluded or deluded is a strong word but conceited self-conceited by saying that this greatness but can this happen you can see this happen and i think it's good to remind ourselves and this is why sometimes it's good to, you know, the imposter syndrome. I think at times this is a good blessing, but to be obviously consumed by that is is <laughs> would be a pathology. But otherwise, the the imposter syndrome, it's good at times to to have that. Honestly, I seriously, wallahi, I have, I I share this with you that there's been, you know, there there will be times. I'll think to myself, <laughs> honestly, I'll think to myself that um, I'm just leveling with you, just being honest. Like I will think that, like I'll I'll be I'll be hit by that this imposter syndrome at times. That you know that what do I actually know? Like what is it that like I don't really like? 
is this just a facade? Is this just an ego that I've that that that, that I've kind of perpetuated of knowing something, of being, let's say, a mufti, of having all this knowledge and information? Like, really, what is it? That I, I, like, I don't. Like, what do I actually know? I don't really know anything. That's of much weight, and and I think at times of at times having that i think is a good thing obviously if it if it becomes a constant it's a pathology you, you know it's a sickness then a psychological sickness but just const just some punctuations of it here and there it's 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 good it's humbling because it reminds you and i think that's important but then at the same time when it's not there, a person should, I think, embrace greatness and should aim for it. You know, the, the, you know aim for the stars. That's <laughs> as it's been said that if you miss, at least you'll land on the moon. <laughs> I love that because it's that's what you want to do. You want to aim like that, but just nest it in your gratitude to God. And, you know, Alhamdulillah. That you know, look what Allah has given me, and if He's given me this, He'll give me exponentially more that in shakartum remember that like a mantra in shakartum if you are grateful i will increase so remember that 